Howdy, how y'all doing? This is Georgia Fitters from Emory. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm at Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Yeah, to do something on my bucket list. And that is to go visit. If you like that, come join me. Driving through the small town of Custer, South Dakota, we headed up Highway 385 through the beautiful and magnificent Black Hill National Forest. Take the next right onto South Dakota 244 East. You'll notice that ponderosa pines dominate this dry and rocky landscape. The Black Hills take its name from the illusion of darkness and the density of the pines created when viewed from the distance. Besides ponderosa pines, common trees are birch, cottonwoods, spruce, and aspen. Look how beautiful they are in the fall. After a nice early morning flight to Gillette, Wyoming, and a drive in a rental car, I finally made it to Mount Rushmore National Memorial, a place I've wanted to go to since I was a little kid learning it in elementary school. Mount Rushmore National Memorial. I am overwhelmed with the feeling of joy. The purpose of the memorial is to communicate the founding, the expansion, the preservation, and the unification of the United States with these colossal statues of President Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt, symbolizing the ideas of freedom and our republic. This mammoth 60-foot bus memorial was a vision of sculpture Gutzamboglum and took 14 years to complete, from 1927 to 1941, where men and women worked to blast and carve the face of the presidents. Lots of granite around here. Now don't take this memorial for granted. Or maybe we should, because that's what it's carved out of. So looking at the map, I was kind of hoping I could get to the back side, go look at that secret door they have, come back around, but there's no trail to do that, at least what they're gonna allow you to go do. So what they have here is, is the uh, trail called the President's Trail. The President's Trail, it begins right over here where these guys are on the cell phone. It begins that direction. The President's Trail is going to begin on the upper level and we are going to begin right here in the upper level. Come across here. They've got youth exploration area. Well, that might be fun to go see. Up into the front, around, and come back around to the other end. It was suggested that we begin the trail here and end up on this side. So that's what we're going to do. And I think I read about it, and it's about 0.9 of a mile, so not really a long walk. Okay, President's Trail, the Mount Rushmore Terrace is 0.2 miles, the Sculptor's Studio is 0.4 miles, and the loop to the Grand View Terrace is 0.6 miles, so let's go do that. So we're entering into the President's Trail, it appears to be open today, and with the masses, we're going. Where are y'all from? France. France. France? Yes. yes, it's four. Oh, very nice. Okay, time to start the President's Trail. Here we go. On there. There's some explanations of stuff you can do. There's a walking tour. It says, I am here. And we're going to go all the way around. Start with number 11 and move around. Now, it doesn't say here what it is. So I think you have to either rent or get leaflets out on the walking tour. I don't believe there's a bad place on this trail that you can't see the memorial. It's been uh, amazing. Well, one reason is because this has been a bucket list in my life. South Dakota, the Black Hills, I didn't realize there's so much here. I need to come up here for a week and just explore.
It's beautiful fall weather. Today, when I got here, it's 57 degrees. The sun, I think, is about 60 now. What a wonderful, warm, late October day to enjoy this wonderful memorial. Look at the beautiful colors. Just relaxing on this short hike. So, I'm glad you guys are joining me today. It's exciting to show this to you. It's exciting to do these adventures with you guys. So I hope you enjoy them too. So let's continue on with our walk. Nakoda Heritage Village is closed. Though so you do see an outline of a teepee right here. I take it this is fully going during the summer. But for this fall walk, closed down for the season. Oh, look at this. This is so awesome. Look at this. What a trail. Uh, so far, the accessibility of this has been really good. Um, I've enjoyed it. Enjoyed, enjoyed seeing that and everything. Got Brought our kids and we're from Kansas, so. Oh, nice. Audrey. It's fine. So it's been pretty good for accessibility on this yeah, one. But you yep. said like the... The Royal Gorge was difficult. We couldn't even go on it. We ended up... I ended up having to get onto a golf cart and they had to take me back up the hill. Oh no. Because it was just too steep. Not 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 accessible at all really for well, me. Th this trail has been very nice for this. Yeah, it's been really good. Well, yep, thank you. What a view. Oh, looks like we got a view of the 16th President of the United States. Straight up. Look at that view of him. Sweet. Well, you have to take a look at this. We got mulchy in here. How you doing? How's your little trip here, huh? You got a little window. How cute. Pets on a trip. This is awesome, thank you. George Washington, the first president of the United States. So this is about the end of the line for wheelchairs. Because at this point, we start hitting stairs going up or stairs going down. So though you can go on some of the trails, accessibility is fairly limited. Look at those beautiful fall colors. Like as if there's a light. Yeah. There's like a, a highlight. They would look unnatural. Yeah. But they sculpted a highlight. Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. And that's like totally recognizable as long as you just have that turn of that cheekbone. Mm -hmm. The rest you can just assume. Oh, wow. I guess they have long time. Has a tough time on the stage. Up, 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 up. Again, don't forget to hydrate once in a while. Cheers. Though today is really beautiful weather for a walk, you do need to hydrate on any of these hikes. But I think you get around this hike without a drink. 
But it's fun to have one. Jefferson, third president of the United States. Now you can just catch him through that tree. I think that tree needs to go down to do this site. He's somewhere up there. There he is. Somewhere. More and more stairs. I just got done talking to an amputee, Wind Lake amputee. It was elective surgery for the young lady. I didn't want to put her on the video because she is a, a teenager. And she says she's not having that hard of trouble. And certainly walking up these stairs was difficult for her, but she needed to see this. So she took the effort just to go out on this trail to see what she's been wanting to do all of her life. So it's nice that family to talk to me and I do appreciate them. So let's keep going because I tell you, I don't know how she did it because look at these stairs. They keep going down, down and down. <laughs> or if you're kind of going up these stairs, it's up, up and up. So let's continue on with this trail. I am enjoying it though. And I shouldn't say this is a hike. This is more of a walk and Stairmasters. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States. He became the president because of assassination of McKinley. Now, he was the youngest president at 42, but he was elected again and he became the president. I think there's a term in between and became president again. So it could have been the 28th president, but I'm not sure about that. But again, if you look up here, you'll see him with Lincoln and Jefferson, and he's the one in the middle. We're getting around. Not sure what they're doing here. I think they do some sculpture work. Let's go and take a look through the window. Small sculpture they use as a model. There you go, that would have been fun to see. Hard to get it. The sculpture room. All right. George needs a video. And a picture. Sitting on here. Okay, you want it from down here? Up. You want me to Suck zoom in? my gut. <laughs> okay, you're looking good. You sure this is taking? It is. Okay. You want me to zoom in at all? You look great, George. Get like that. It's wonderful. We're heading to the end. I think he's up these stairs, up those stairs, some more stairs. And we just might get there. And then we got the visitor center and the gift shop to look at. There's the end. Back to the visitor center. What a fun adventure. What a walk around the whole trail. That was certainly worth my time. And I did take a few minutes to go through the visitor center to learn more of the history of Mount Rushmore. And I went to the gift shop and bought a couple of magnets. Wow, what an adventure. I really enjoyed the hike walking around the base of Mount Rushmore. It was a little bit touristy, but certainly really a lot of fun. 
and I really do enjoy going on these hikes. And you know what? If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell. Give me two thumbs up, because this is George Phyllis Rambler, loving to go on hikes, signing off, and watching that guy run by.